Hello, welcome to the Dawn's Weekly News Roundup. We got a lot to go over today. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone that's watching. I reached 100 followers over on Twitch. Now, Todd Howard says Starfield mod support is on the way next year. Super cool. Uh, it's going to be in line with Fallout 4 support. I think this is really cool. Uh, mods is what Bethesda is really known for. Uh, this game doesn't really have any glaring um, issues with glitches or anything. So I'm really excited for this. Thank you. Gotham Knights on PS4 and Xbox One just got cancelled. It has been an exclusive for the PS5 and Xbox Series S, and now it is officially considered an exclusive again. Um, yeah, they're, they're not planning on making the PS4 and Xbox One versions of it. They're no longer in development. Uh, sucks for those who really wanted it. Tokyo Game Show 2023 Xbox is going to be there. Uh, if you want to see me, um, you know, uh, react to it, I will definitely be reacting to it. This is super cool. It's on the 21st, and I hope I'll see you there. Elder Scrolls 6 officially is in early development, but don't expect to hear about it anytime soon. So, this is a report by N IGN. Um, in 2018, Elder Scrolls 6 was announced, and it's now in early development uh, right after Starfield. Yeah, that took forever. Um, Starfield's pretty cool, so, and I'll, I probably will like it more than this, but Eh. I'm not surprised it just started development. Xbox boss Phil Spencer addresses potential Elder Scrolls 6 uh, exclusivity. Yeah, it, it probably will be. Uh, honestly. It's for those games you put and Max Crater. Uh, we look by case to case basics and then we build. I'm going to say that this game probably will be. If It would be a smart business decision to have a big game like Elder Scrolls 6 to be an exclusive so cool definitely uh, really nice on them Embracer Group is concealing selling Gearbox uh, Gearbox if you don't know are the makers of uh, Borderlands which is uh, a really popular series uh, I think they lost a bunch of money, um, v uh, Violition, Violition, but lost a bunch of money when making Saints Row, Saints Row, and they gotta make it back, and, you know, Gearbox is just what they need to do to sell, to make some money back. Um, Brayson making an... Ways options. Once again, they plan on selling Gearbox. Now that they have uh, some big names like Gex and uh, Lorecroft, I'm not. I'm not surprised that they need to recoup some of the money they've been shelling out. Introducing the new Xbox MasterCard, a new way to earn more value for gaming. Uh, I probably will get one of these. We're just no annual fee Xbox MasterCard issued by Barclays. Allows one to earn points every day. Purchases for those points and add-ons at Xbox.com. MasterCard will be exclusively for Xbox insiders. Okay. Uh. We know that Xbox earns the game more value and feedback. Okay. Uh, in the 50 United States, beginning on 21st, earn points for every one uh, item. 
Uh, Xbox and Microsoft earned five times points. So I probably, when I buy um, Man Without a Name and Alan Wake, I want to buy with this card. Streaming services, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, whatever. DoorDash, no. And then one times points for everything other than these. Very cool. Um, what I'm surprised about is I don't get five times points for Steam or PlayStation or Nintendo. They're only giving me five times points for the Xbox Store. Seems a little weird, don't you think? I guess they want to keep it concise and in-house. I wonder if Game Pass will fall under th three times points or five times points. Still very cool, though. A uh, new Valve hardware device, just radio certification in South Korea. Eh. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. You need to introduce a fee attached to installs because of the runtime. Yeah, you, every 20 cents per install. That's ridiculous. This is absurd. This is actually super stupid. Um, right here, you have personal and Unity Plus, Unity Pro, and Unity Enterprise. Doesn't really affect uh, Unity Enterprise too much, but it's 20 cents for personal and plus. That's crazy. Um, basically right here, this would be like your Among Us and stuff. Here is like your Cult of the Lamb. So, that sucks. It's Steam's 20th anniversary. Steam has turned 20 years old. That is... Crazy. I've been using Steam since I was a kid. So, yeah. Super cool. Uh, since 2003. Arnold Sergio becomes governor of California. Top games released in 2004. Both of these. Honestly, this would be really cool to go in. Call of Duty 2 is still $15, huh? Portal's currently $0.99. Cents. Hey, man, Blood Money it's, is really good. Crisis Warhead, I'm surprised. Left for Dead 2, Modern Warfare 2, Mass Effect, of course. Terraria. Oh, yeah. One of the biggest launches ever, still to this day. Uh, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, no. Saints Row. Shadow of Mordor, really? Yep. Now we get solid five. Civ six. We'll work. Oh, Odyssey is here. Final Fantasy fifteen. I'm surprised Final Fantasy just made the list there. Code Vein, really? Code Vein was uh, one of the best in 2019. That's crazy. Sea of Thieves. Village. Spider-Man, of course. And then we have Starfield. Cool. iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro Max have been announced. Uh, you can pre-order them. 
15th or 22nd, depending on what version you want. I still think they're way too much money. 100% recycled aluminum, which just sucks. Um, eh, like, really, though? Honestly, I'm... I just don't care. I just don't care about the iPhone anymore. I... I... I I think it's cool. I have an iPhone. Oh, wait. Eh. You can get one of these sticker pads, I guess. Uh, like, I, I really, honestly... 99 Pro or 1200 US. Yeah. Like... Or later, you can get probably 200 bucks for your 11. Eh. Uh, I don't know. Oh, X Defiant release update. X Defiant from Mark Rubin. Uh, it's an Ubisoft game. Fine. So I know firm release plate because they want to make it as best as possible. Of course, is a typical thing any developer would say. Unity sucks. Uh, honestly, if you this, if you are still using Unity as a game developer, my friend used Unity to make his VR game. Just stop. Just just port your data, okay? I know it's a hassle. I know take money. I know. But in the long run, if you're successful, it will be worth it. Take my advice right now. It will be worth it. All the pain and suffering you go through right now will be worth it to move over away from Unity. Because it is a sinking ship. I don't think they'll be able to backtrack this. Here's more packaging updates on January 1st. Defected immediately. Um, I tell you this right now. People are complaining that they'll get charged for piracy. They'll be charged for, for uh, virtual machines. They'll be charged twice for multiple devices. And they said they won't do it. They will. You will be expected and you absolutely will be charged for all those things because what they're going to do is they're just going to make an estimate and then show you the estimate and that's going to be you know their response and of course it's going to be wrong and you're going to lose most of your money from having money not made from other resources uh resident evil 4 is coming to the iphone natively on the 15 pro it says apple village Four, death stranding are coming assassin's creed mirage will be available in the first half of 2024 that's crazy if if true insane uh if there's 60 bucks then Yeah, I'm, uh, it's not worth it. Free to start, pay for past the intro. Immortals uh, of Abum Studio lays off nearly half. Well, yeah, that's because this game sold poorly. And guess what? I don't trust them. I don't trust their publisher. Uh, it's an EA title, and anything from EA sucks. So, yeah, sorry. It's unfortunate they had to let about 45% of our team go, but that's just what has to happen. Uh, EA should just cease to exist, if I'm honest. Final Fantasy VI Rebirth Director Nioki Hamiguchi has a special message for you, all of you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're finally happy to announce the release date for all of you. Uh, we've been working a long time. Uh, 
Very exciting. I'm a hundred hours of adventures. Hold me to this. When this game comes out, I'll do another 24 hour stream. EA reportedly ending their support for Wild Hearts even seven months after launch. Well, of course, because EA is a horrible, horrendous company that hates their consumers. <laughs> oh, man. And last, but not least, Game Pass Core. What to expect with one with Game Pass Core? Almost there tomorrow. We're excited. So Game Pass Core, we shared last month. Uh, Game shared. This member show will become more than 25 high quality. Games and the game from Game Pass Library. We're thrilled that 36 games will be on. on, on. Yep. Yep. Uh, they don't even say the 1X anymore. It's just one altogether family among us. Dead Cells, Dishonored 2, Doom, Fallout, Gears, Halo. Okay, so these are all basically. Most of these are. They own. And other ones are really cheap, like Celeste, Among Us, Dead Cells, uh, Limbo, Slay the Spire, Psychonox, they own. Uh, so, to be honest, uh, Halo 5 Guardians, Halo Wars, but no Halo Infinite, and, and how much of a freaking... Uh, mess that was. I'm surprised it doesn't come with Game Pass Core. But Psychonauts 2 is newer. Gears 5 is cool. Game of the Year edition as well. I don't know. I'm not looking not too excited for that. Well that's my news roundup for the week. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, tune back next Saturday for the next roundup. Um... I started to do these news roundups instead of doing individual videos every uh, day because it seems like these get more views and are more popular. So uh, stay tuned next week and keep it fresh. <laughs> yeah, keep it fresh. That's a good outro.